Welcome everyone to VR Master League. Today we are going to be watching a matchup for Onward Valor versus Sinister Pride. I'm Control Flirt Delete, your caster for tonight. Picking up some last minute games because, well, we're stuck inside. What else is there to do, right? But I'm excited to do this game because, well, I like both these teams and I think they're, they're well matched. So it should be a good game ahead of us. So, teams are loading into the lobby right about now. You guys got some math? And for the first... Well, actually, let's go through their bands first. Uh, for their bands, we are going to see a band for Snow Peak on the side of Valor. And Sinister Pride is going to ban Downfall. Um, I'm not sure. I guess they don't want to play big maps tonight. That's fine with me. Uh, I love Snow Peak and Downfall is great too, but, but I'm excited for this first map, which is going to be a classic, Bazaar. I don't know. I've been really liking Bazaar lately. I feel like there's a lot of good strats that come out of it. And both these teams are, let's see. They are, Valor is silver and Sinister Pride is bronze, 24 and 25th ranks respectively. So again, this is gonna be a, a good matchup. I've been casting a lot of Sinister Pride, just like pure coincidence, I suppose. But. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited to be able to get in another game. There's a lot of games, and I feel like they all should be casted. Unfortunately, they cannot be. So thanks for joining us. Uh, before we start, though, I'm sure you want to place your connoisseur bets on the website at vrmasterleague.com while we still wait for the rest of the crew here. And I'll also take this time to thank our sponsors, VR Cover and ProTube. We are almost there, folks. Almost there. Um, we're going to be seeing the, the South Objective in Bazaar, which is my favorite. And let's go down the roster on the side of Valor here. We're gonna see Matt H, Nynx Dragon. Oh, oh, you know what? I don't think he's rostered. I think he is a reservist. Uh, JJ04 and Panko was hosting. I think he just dropped, but Panko should be playing. He is their captain. So maybe Nynx is reserving for them today, which should make it an interesting game. On the side of uh, Sinister Pry, we have Hondo, VR, Flying Potatoes, Nullist, Fester Taint, and I think Kanan is going to be in. Not sure just yet, but looks like it. They're fashionably late, which is just fine because we have nowhere to go. Okay, teams are messaging me. Yep, they're loading in. Hey to TFH in the chat. I'm not sure if it's gonna be just me today. Just me and TFH watching the cast, so if you're here, give us a shout out. And let me know what you guys are up to during this quarantine time here. I I swear I thought it was Tuesday. It's like time has just completely changed for me.
All right, and I also want to welcome two new teams to the league. I think we've got, I think two new teams. One is um, NATO and, oh, I forget the name of the other one, but uh, yeah, so two new teams forming this week, which is awesome. We are in week 10, but you can still join the, the league. You can go to VR Master League. You need five to start your team and you'll be signed up to be in a matchup. Yes, you can join this late in the season. If you like competing, but you're just not sure, you can also check out our custom maps tournament, which is on the Onward Discord. So for more information, go ahead, check it out. I'm not ignoring you, I'm just, I'm holding my, holding my breath, waiting with anticipation as it looks like we're having technical difficulties on the side of Valor. So I guess this is the time to tell you fun facts. Valor was Merc, and then before Merc they were Valor, and before that they were Kingsman, and I think before that they were Valor again. So back to their old name it's hard there's so many cool options for names so but the most fun part i think of making a team and then the logo of course so yes but uh but valor it is and they've been i think veteran players a little bit here and there nynx dragon again i think is subbing as a reservist and he played for cold steel jj being i think the newest pickup for valor he is a Pavlov player playing on blacklists, but he switches back and forth and he is with Onward and with Onward he shall stay. On the side of Sinister Pride, we do have the usual players and then we have Hondo VR, which is that a name change? I'm not sure. Uh, I know Hondo is active in the Discord. However, as far as the roster goes, I'm unsure. But Sinister Pride has been around since season one. Oldest team on the block. Oh, you know what? Hondo is a reservist as well. Okay, yeah. I was confused then, I guess. So Hondo being a reservist. You would think that people wouldn't need a reservist right now, but who knows? So let me know in the chat what you guys are doing to occupy your time. Okay, a brief hold here as we check in on the teams. I do see some new people in the chat, so let me just take this time to explain the game for you. This is Onward, it's a Milsim VR FPS. So you will see, from my point of view, all the players with their names above their heads, uh, through the walls, for caster, the caster view here. Uh, however, in the game, this is VR, and the players are actually in the map themselves. So when you see them move their head, they're moving their head in real life. When you see them kneeling or prone, they are doing that in real life in their homes. 
and when they're throwing things, they are actually throwing things. Um, shout out to my wall that's been hit way too many times. But yeah, it's they. It's not like um, a regular traditional game where you might be able to talk with your teammates wherever they are. It's a proximity game where you can only hear those around you. You don't know who's who. Uh, so that's kind of the fun part and the tricky part. Over time, teams get to know each other by the height because it does register your real height. Uh, so some of my teammates are you know, over six feet, I'm five feet, so a bit of a discrepancy there, but it does take into account your, your actual height. Uh, and, you know, we use the controllers still for movement, so we can't, when you see us running, we're using a joystick to run, but, you know, we're all the movements for loading your gun, all that knife and tablet, like, we're all doing that with our hands for real. So the game is quite intense. It is on um, the uplink mode, meaning there is an objective. The attacking team, Marsoc, uh, they will be going into wherever the uh, uh, OBJ is, the uplink. They need to get in within a certain radius of it, and then they have to put in a ten, or sorry, a seven-digit code that they memorize at the beginning of the round. It generates a new code every round, and they have six minutes to do this. Volk, who are on defense, will hold positions in order to protect the uplink, not letting Marsoc. Uh, move in too close to it in order to send up the uplink so Volk can win by basically killing off Marsoc. Marsoc can win by eliminating Volk or by sending the uplink. If they eliminate Volk, they get one point. If they send the uplink, they get two points. So there's a little bit of, uh, well, no, there's, there's a lot to gain from getting that uplink, and that's why, you know, they want to protect it as well inside of Volk. Then after that round, they switch size and do it again. So because they switch size and there are no name tags on above our heads or any other telling facts, you can mistakenly kill your team very often on the tablets that you'll see the players use. Uh, they, um, you, they, you can see where your teammates are. So that's a way to look at the map and see where you're attacking. If your teammates have gotten to a certain spot, um, there is a radio on, on your person, on your player model, to talk with your teammates as well. So there is no no respawns. I was playing in a lobby with a new player. He's like, what, you only get one life? That's it? Yep, that's it. You get one life. So five players on your side uh, attacking. And it makes for interesting gameplay because you have to move together as a team. As you'll see in here, you could just run in and start shooting, right? Uh, or you can do some plays and the loadouts have room for that. You'll see things like um, shields or drones. So there's a lot of things that can come into play to, to help with that. All right, it looks like there is going to be a change of venue. So let me throw up the intermission and we'll be right back.
Enough about that. Let's get into the game itself. Here we are. If we, if we do a and a on the side. Triple radio click means we killed somebody, but we can't talk. Uh, sinister pride <laughs> here. Yes. Uh, so you might have heard them say, you know, three clicks knows that they're nearby and they can't talk. And that's because, again, the enemy can kill you. They can also down you and you can still give call outs through the radio. But let's see how um, they're going to attack on the side of Valor here. They got the tank spawn. So we do have a 3-2 split coming out here. We got Panko, Matt H, and O4 coming down the main street going in quite fast. Um, we do have Kanan here holding down the Kiat objective. He might have seen them cross. He has seen them cross. Shots ringing out from him. But we've got Nynx Dragon um, and, oh, uh, JJ here going through the Kiat. Nynx Dragon does get caught out by Kanan. We did have another kill on Sinister Pride's side as well. So they are three up against Sinister Pride's five. They've got quite a good defense, I think. They've got the aggressive uh, cannon inside a Kiat, and let's see, Nullis and Flying Potatoes holding down the OBJ here. So again, they want to make sure they don't let anyone on Marsoc, on, in the blue here, get close to that objective. They can cap, uh, send in the code really close by. They can do it here, inside the room, and outside of it as well, as I get stuck here. Um, no, so, what they're doing now is, ooh, Matt H gets Kanan here. One confirmed, gang he out's dead. Yeah, so, and he confirms on the radio to his team, so that you can get as accurate a count as you possibly can. So, JJ catches Hondo VR, making it a 3v3. Very even here, and we have smokes or nades coming out. Let's see, it's gonna be smokes. The smokes are going to cover uh, his path. Shots ringing out. We got Fester. O4. Matt H picking up that refrag, getting Fester taint down. And let's see on the side of the smokes here. Uh, JJ does make it through uh, on the, to the north side. And Flying Potatoes is in the back there, but he's not looking. Flying Potatoes is going to probably be as careful as possible because. Um, they're seeing their team. There's only two left. There's a lot of hacking parts here. Oh, Flying Potatoes does pick up JJ, leaving, I think, Matt H. But Nullist and Potato are still going to have to hold down the objective. Um, they could just peek right here and expose themselves. Matt H can then pick them up. So you see Nullist here. He's, he's roaming around. He can't necessarily stay tucked in completely when you are only two up or one up because, again, you can cap on the inside, on the outside, on the courtyard side as well. So... Uh, they have to continue to sweep around to make sure that no one gets snuck up on them. Uh, Matt H is also doing a sweep here, going into places where you know they would normally um, check. And you may hear them. Again, this is a proximity game, so you can hear players running around. And there they go. And Matt H does pick up Nullist. And he's waiting for the last guy. And they're shooting each other. Who's gonna, who's gonna get it? Okay, Matt H is loading. He can go in. He can cap, but he's going to kill, and he does. Valor taking the point. Sinister Pride gets taken out there, but good effort on both sides here. That was all the way down to the wire. So, Whew. that was a good. That was a good push. It was a little quiet on the side of. Uh, well, I didn't hear as many callouts. Um, but again, some of these teams have been playing together for a long time. It's like they know the spots to stay in. But that was a great clutch from Matt H there. He could have gone for the cap, I think, because P Potatoes was outside. He could have snuck into the room if he could do it fast enough. Again, it's a seven digit code that you have to uh, memorize. So uh, some people can do that that fast. Some people need a little bit more time. I think average capping time is about six seconds or so um definitely want to do under 10 seconds but believe me that seems like forever some people can cap in three to four seconds so it's it's really tricky especially when you're on on bulk you know you think you have well you have one guy here so he can hold the objective that's fine the rest of us can go flank right no that's not always the case it can um 
it can be rather disastrous if you leave just one guy there. So now we're going to have Sinister Pride attacking with Valor defending. So we'll see how each team's approach it differently and how they defend it differently as well. Uh, and then after that, the objective does change to another location. Again, this is going to be a best of seven. So the first team to four will take the map. Here we go into round two. And we are going to get mirrored spawns on the side of Sinister Pride here at the tank. And again, they always read out the um, the codes. And you see what they're doing here is they're trading weapons. Um, they're trading uh, mags here because someone must have a, a drum mag and they can it can fit into some of these other people's loadouts. Fester Tank with his shield offering some um, offer uh, maybe some protection and peeking uh we do see a bit of a one two two here with the uh, hondo going the far route i think he's a reservist so he might not be as in tune with the rest of them so sometimes when that happens the reservist does get a little bit more freedom to go out on their own um shots ringing out i'm not really sure where that came from I came, oh matt h probably some pre-fire he's gonna be watching this uh north push here on the wall he might have spotted them out at the um, at the very end of uh, bazaar across the map. Not 100 percent just hold still. All right, so keep working up. Fester okay. is trying to give call outs here. He's not 100 percent sure, as he said. Oh, I see gunfire coming out from Honda. Fuck you! A colorful language. Thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs> Always having fun. Ooh, a C4 does go off. Nolas picks up JJ. The C4 is an explosive on um, yeah, side of Volk, but uh, did not pick anybody up. So we do have Matt here holding down rather well um, on this side. He's probably already spotted out Fester here with a shield, but of course he has a shield, so a little bit harder. Oh, Panko does down Nullist. Getting awfully close though, BJ. No? So this is the courtyard. I call it the Waffle Courtyard. Courtyard, okay, the Waffle House. Okay. All right, Kaden picking up Matt I H. Got him. Okay, so then their watch for that push awesome. has been down, so it gives them a little bit more free reign. Um, they have not seen if there's anyone else, but you know, Ning's here is watching this approach on this side. So you see the lasers, they do not see the lasers. For them, it is all completely blank. Hondo downing 04. Just downing them, not finishing off the kill. Shot bringing up from Panko. Flying Potato picks up Panko. Hondo and the Flying Potatoes are going to make that cross into the mini market here. More shots bringing out. Missy does down Flying Potatoes, but only down. Did not finish his kill. He did not complete it. Uh, Ninx, oh, now he does. Complete it and revives 04 there. 04 getting down. There is a revive available for your down team. Ninx picking up Hondo. Ooh, no, I missed it. I so bad. I was watching the gunfire. They did cap, it looks like. Sinister Pride. Wow, I'm sorry I missed that one. Will they forgive me? Let's see who did it. Uh, Hondo did move in we did see them move into the the west market and he went for that cap and got it no kills but a cap gain, getting sinister pride two points so that was exactly what you want to do um and now we're going to switch objectives now so ooh, the kiat objective this is my least favorite one um to defend i mean just overall and i say this every time this is the kiat the middle it's the center of the entire map here and the reason why a lot of teams don't like to defend it is because you can cap inside this building this building this building and upstairs so there is a lot of ground to cover you can also cap right around here as well so a lot of ground to cover um for the five men to push and as you see it's in the middle so they can attack from the north side um on both sides east and west you can pinch them in so it's it's a tricky one to defend 
Um, a little bit easier to attack uh, and get that cap in. But yeah, overall, just anything in the center because really is tough. Is tough. So we're going to go into our next round here, round three. And we're gonna let's check out their spawns. Okay, they're gonna yes, get. Thank you, spawn. Onward Devs, for making it so when you try to hold your tablet, it just drops and can bounce off things. For don't no don't reason. don't blame things on the devs, JJ. You need to learn how to hold on to your tablet. Real cool and interactive. <laughs> so uh, looks like they're gonna get the east spawn. Four is gonna push on to the east, leaving one going down south to the center. He's probably gonna make his way to the east side. The defense looking. A little spread out, but strong in the middle. Uh, we've got someone all the way in the far northwest. Shots ringing out already Two from flying potatoes. Calling out the ones on the east already. Uh, not correctly, I think there's three, but... They made a bombing by Junior North Street. And I'm stuck on the floor. My apologies. Okay, Hondo is uh, making his way back around, knowing that they spawned on the east side. Kinko making shots in the blue room already making it into the kiat so oops sorry cameras are hard so you see hondo and nullist here i'm um, covering the inside hondo in the back covering that north entrance and it lo looks like we are gonna have oh jj does now you get hondo um flying potatoes nynx dragon also having a no, it's just pre-fire. So they can sneak in through the back here. Um, they'll, they just have, well, they will, looks like Sinister Pride is making like their, their runs around, but Panko is in a pretty good position here to kind of see a little bit more um, inside the walls. That's kind of crazy. Get out of there. And let's get it. So, oh, Panko does pick up Nullis, and he's about to make his way inside. Um, does get called out by Fester, though. He's, so Fester's gonna have to make his run downstairs to watch the objective. See, as he's gonna sweep, he's gonna run into these guys in the back. Oh, and they do trade Nynx picking up Fester here. And, okay, Valor takes that round, finishing up with kills, going up a point. I think both of these teams were pretty neck and neck in predictions. Uh, I, I think, I mean, they're right next to each other in rankings. And just from knowing the players, I think this is well matched on both sides. Um. I'm sorry, did the overlay stay up? That's strange, if it did. If it did, my apologies. Take a shot. So that was a good approach on the side of um, Valor attacking. They went from the outside in and end up just uh, choking Sinister Pride's defense. But Sinister Pride, let's see how they attack it. I know the secret to this one. Do you want me to tell you the secret to doing this? I'll tell you my secret spot. I'm gonna go to it right. Just kidding. No, secret spot. Um, there are some good defenses for this, actually. Not great. It's it's not the defense's fault, really. It's just so easy to cap. So many spots. And then you forget how many rooms there are. I always think there's four, but there are six. Six rooms and two upstairs that you can cap from. All right, we're going into the next round. Round four. Looks like we are going to have a West spawn here. Hey guys. Yeah. My legs are careful. There you go. Ken always shouting it out. Every team does it a little bit differently. I sometimes don't even forget. I forget to look at it. Hey! What do I like? Don't call me by my name. <laughs> Just kidding. 
All right, looks like they're going for a straight push right across the street to give a lookout. That's a great play. Just checking out, um, seeing where the defense are. From here, they can kind of peek into the windows. Um, you're not going to get the best view just because um, because of all the canopies and everything here. Nullis is already going to cross the street. <laughs> Panko picking up Nullis on that cross. Where is Panko? Let's see. Uh, it was side. Oh, wow. He's already there. He just catch Mondo, and he does. He's going for that flank. Going for flying potatoes and Panko. They trade on that one. Flying potatoes, you should know that. That's your spot. We all know that. No, I'm kidding. Made that up. All right, let's see where everyone else is. Fester Taint here with his shield on the east side with Kanan. Going to check. No. Just you two. So as you see, they're checking their tablets again to see where their teammates are. For those of you who are new to Onward, welcome, by the way. Sorry, I'm short. I get really low, okay? Alright. Looks like he's gonna go in with a live nade. Looking for anyone that might be holding a spot on the north here. Um, they're going to have just freedom of movement right here, but you still have to be careful just because you just you just don't know. Um, it does look like we're going to have someone running out here, and that's JJ. Uh, he's going to be in this little um, passive flank position here. Where he can just kind of wait. He could hear a lot, too. He'll be able to give out some information. If he gives information for his team by talking, uh, they will... Hear him. He knows they're there because he just threw a nade. It's not going to catch anyone, but it was a good effort. He could hear them. Sometimes you can hear that shield clanking in the back. But uh, JJ's going to take a little peek. C4 goes off. Not going to find anyone. Unfortunate. Let's have some C4 bets placed here. Ninx is going to do a little peek. And he's going to get... Someone's calling now. Somebody. I think JJ. Yeah, JJ's looking out the window, calling them out. On this side here. Shots ringing out from Matt. Oh, he does pick up Kanan. One down on North is a sh Yeah, he calls it out. No, he's got him. Oh, we've got a flanker on this side. Oh, it was still Matt. My apologies. He's running. So they do see Fester. Fester really needs to back up. They're going to come for a quick flank on this side to pinch him in and bookend him, knowing he's the last guy. And they grab him. Valor going up the point. Finishing that. That was a good play on the side of Valor. They go up a point. And just like that, we're at a new OBJ. I'm lost, guys. Oh, here we are. <laughs> the magic carpet ride, guys. All right, we're going to go to this east OBJ here. And, oh, there we go. My headphones weren't fully on. I was confused. All right. So this objective in this courtyard does have a kind of sneaky spots for you to cap as well. So the good, the good thing for the attacking, uh, the attacker, or I'm sorry, the defense is that they're pushed up against this wall. So they can't be too fully surrounded. They could have a good defense on the outside, but they do have to rotate in very quickly. So, again, the, in this game, you do want to do things like do timings with your team. So wherever you're going to spawn, how fast does it take you to get to point B, you know, from point A? How fast can you get to where you need to go to, to point out the spawns? So uh, Volk, for the most part, will spawn in the same spot. And um, Marsoc will spawn at a different spot for each objective. Objectives have uh, two to three different spawns. So, into the next round. Round five. Let's go. Hi, Nim. Matt. J. 
JJ, let's go. Yeah. All right, they're gonna go, and they're going to get let's the get west here, here, spawn. Here. This is a. Like... Right, they're excited. They just need to hold on to for this one. Two yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Hondo, you're taking left side objective, right? There we go. Um, Sinister Pride, always being such a fun team to cast and play here. with. I'm over here. Okay, Kanan taking another spot inside of Kiat, looks like. He is gonna. No, oh, some shots are ringing out from Ninx. And he does pick up Nolas from across. That is a great shot um, from Ninx there into the window where Nolas was peeking out. More gunshots ringing out from Fester. Does spot Panko and JJ. Shooting back. Oh, Fester does pick up Panko as he's prone. Great positioning on his side, but he's gonna get caught right here by O4. O4 does pick him up. Uh, Flying Potato's gonna try and uh, get that refrag. He might spot Matt H. Uh, let's see, he'll come over this side. Let's see. We'll see O4. I think O4 is not checking that for you. And he does pick up O4. Uh, oh, Matt, Matt looking for that. Refrag if flying potatoes peaks up or makes that cross. Okay, so there's one's making some kind of call. Deck is open, cover it. Kanan's telling his team to watch. Oh, Nynx does pick up Kanan inside the Kiat there. Oof. JJ making his way in from hey, the blue room. Okay. Okay, so they're calling each other out. <laughs> JJ is hearing. Them. Yeah, he's uh, hearing their rotation. Um, let's see, frags going out on the side. Of potatoes at the light. Wait, uh, hold on, who's this over here? Ninx. Watch my cross. Watch my cross. Oh, it throws in a frag into the alleyway here. Hondo gets a free fire. Flying potatoes gets JJ here on the outside. Matt picks up flying, only downing him. That's going to to alert Hondo here, but he Aww. knows he's he's got another guy he's not happy. How dare you leave him alone? <laughs> oh, and Ninx takes down Hondo, clutching that round for Valor, and they take the first map. Not a bad play. Good on both sides, and I think, again, I think that... And chat, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think Hondo is a reservist, as is Nynx, but uh, Nynx is a very good player. Shout out to Nynx. We, we started in the same season, I remember. We were like, what should we call you, Ninx Dragon? He's like, call me Dragon. Okay, Ninx, that's what we'll call you, Ninx. Hondo, I think, is that is that someone else on a new name? We change names often here. But I uh, played with Hondo in the lobby the other day, really good. Got me a few times. Which is so hard to do, because like, you know, so good. Right, anyone? No? Okay. Looks like we're picking the next one, next map, and it's quarantine day. And I thought they were gonna go quarantine night. So we're gonna go into quarantine here. Quarantine is a lot of fun on some days. I just, it's like, it's a, a love hate thing with this map. I don't know what it is, it's, it's like, are you feeling coordinated? Are you feeling? I don't know. Everyone has different opinions about about it. Some people think that you know it's like a little bit of luck. Some people think it's really you have to be coordinated. Um, I don't know. It, to me, it's just there's so many pathways here. Looks like we're gonna have the tank objective, but uh, let's get the teams loaded in here. We're gonna have Sinister Pride take Marsock first. Okay, so with quarantine, here's the thing, right? You can cap 
in so many hidden spots. And as you saw with the smokes, um, it does give you good coverage. The smokes have changed from time to time um, over the last few seasons with game updates. But in the smoke, you can completely be hidden. Um, and the smokes can do quite a number of things. It can, um, can hide your cross, you know, give you coverage. It can cover your sound. It can scare the crap out of the other team because they freak out and panic. Um, if you throw 10 of them in a lobby at once, you can crash it. Um, uh, that's, uh, we found that out during fun week. So, <laughs> I don't think that's the case anymore. But, uh, definitely you can cap in the smokes, but in quarantine, there are a lot of these little sneaky cap points here. Good thing you can't cap on this side. Oh my gosh, that would be such a pain. All right, we're heading into our first round. Quarantine. Quarantine during quarantine. All right, let's see their spawn. They're gonna. Anybody watching the show? They're gonna, They're gonna be trading some drums. Come on, Kaden, give me that singing. Two fifty, eighty, ninety, eight, ninety. I don't know. You know what, chat? Tell me if you can memorize it. In a few minutes here, you you tell me if you remember the code. <laughs> All right, they're gonna go down. A, uh, oh, there's a press of fire coming out already. You made it to that wire building. Okay, Nullis does make a call out for them. Um, oh, that's a good pick up JJ. And JJ picks up flying potatoes though, on that cross. Uh, flying potatoes is gonna get picked up though and res by Nullis. Shots ringing out over here from Hondo to Panko. Oh, but, uh... Oh, I thought that was different teams. Hondo gets Panko the grenade from Kanan, finishes him. Oh, that was great. Nynx picks up Nullis, pick flying potatoes is... Oh, he gets down by Nynx, but he did make it into the courtyard. Smoke's coming up, and this is what I'm talking about. Oh, 4 is gonna go in. Nynx is gonna pick up Fester Chain. Where is Nynx? Oh, he's on the roof there. Matt is gonna pick up Kanan as well. Hondo is right there. He's ready to cap. Um, Oh, he's, oh, and just like that, he's gonna get picked up by Matt on that flank. Oh, fast, guys. I, I got that fast. All right. Valor picking up a point. These are some great... These are some great rounds, okay? Like I said, Ninx is a good reservist to pick up. And JJ is... He's a really good player, too. And, you know, coming from Pavlov is a different game. But uh, he's played Onward before, played with him in lobbies, good dude. Uh, played for Blacklist, so... I'm glad to see he's fitting right into the Onward crowd. Again, everyone, thanks for stopping in and hanging out and being my Saturday night date. If it wasn't for this quarantine, boy would I have so many dates. Yep. But I said I'm in here with these uh, ten wonderful guys. So here we are. Let's see how uh, Sinister Pride protects this OBJ. Um, the interesting thing about quarantine that I like and hate, <laughs> depending on what side, is the ability to um, do all of these uh, flanks here. I mean, the streets is like you got to get good coverage. You have to have some luck crossing them, depending where you spawn. So like I said, like uh, veteran players are going to know where to go to kind of look for that spot to see where they spawn. Because on this map you can spawn in, you know, two, three, four different places even um, for some of these. I think this one has a lot of OBJs. I think there's like seven on here. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. Eight for the north one. All right, our next round. Round two. And we're gonna get a so wait wait no west spawn my bad. Not for the L B G L of our room. Oh look at them. <laughs> Don't hug him. He doesn't want to be hugged. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, their defense Hondo is making. His... Oh, he in more colorful words. I like it. This is war people. Got some Christmas lights going off over here. Christmas smokes, I mean. Um, 
spread out defense. We got Fester Tang gonna be on the outside here watching into the middle. And Flying Potatoes right in the middle. JJ picking up Nullis. Um, Flying Potatoes picking up Panko. On the roof, Sinister Pride down two already, Valor down one. Flash, oh no, I'm sorry, a nade coming out. We do have, uh, I think that's Hondo going on the flank. Ninx does pick up Hondo. He downs Hondo on that flank, though. He's gonna stop that. On J is no one. No one's on OBJ! It's been compromised! Um, JJ, let's see if JJ knows that. Oh, he sees that there's a rotation coming in from Fester Tain. He's heading back onto OBJ. But 04 is going to be in the Lion Tank Yard here. Oh, sorry. Tank Tank Yard. I call it different things. Fester Tain picking out. Um, JJ not getting in. Nick's picking up. Oh, finishing Hondo. Keenan picking up 04. Matt getting Keenan. JJ getting Fester Tain. And just like that, Valor goes up another point. It's like, it, it's too fast. I'm doing calls and then I realize there's only five on each side. Aha! Uh -huh. My intel tells me that Hondo is too old, who is a scary player. So, good on both sides having veteran uh, reservists. So, again, it's they're not playing with their usual five, though, or someone in their team, you know, in the top eight or in their eight starting line. They really mess things up. Any, actually, any kind of combination that you don't play with, even if it's your teammates, that's like not your usual lineup, can kind of mess things up a little bit. Alright, let's see where our next one is. Oh boy! The East Objective. I'm telling too many things here. I think you can tell my voice. Which one? I'm not a big fan of this one. It's hard. Um, also, just because, you know, again, like I said, like these streets, you're really gonna have to smoke them out. To cross them without being seen, you can get picked off immediately. The other team may be looking if they have an advantageous spawn and pick you off. Uh, and once they know, or they can let you cross and give that call out, leaving the middle center like very vulnerable to people crashing back into the objective. All right, all right, we're going into the next round here. Round three. Ooh. Oh, we're fucked. Why? They gave away. They gave away their spawn. And. Kanan and Flying Potato is going to make that cross. Let's see if the... Okay, 732. So I already forgot it. See, I'm terrible at this. Uh, JJ's going to hold down the OBJ building here. Um, Matt H is going to try and make that cross. Does not see if he's going to get... No one... I don't think he's going to spot him. Oh, shot! Fester already on the rooftop. We have one guy going to get four wire building. Alright, giving some call outs to his team. You know, these are typical places, except for, like, let's see what Panko is up Guns coming out. Ooh, Panko picks up Nullis, and it's a trade. Nullis does get Panko on that flank. Uh, Matt downs Flying Potatoes with that nade. Great nade, and then he finishes him off. Valor picking up Sinister Primes. Already, and then who is this? We got someone on the flank coming up to the roof side here. Guns are not nice. Oof, Ninx getting Hondo. Reservist versus Reservist. More gunfire coming out from Keenan on the plane wing here. Ooh, Matt picks him up. Got the guy on wing. Matt, with that little baby gun. How? Too good. I can't do that. Um. Oops. There we go. Uh, Matt picking up Keenan Fester, getting Ninx. More gun for nowhere. Sinister Pride, we've got Fester on the rooftop here. No one to watch his back, but the flankers are have been put down, as you can see on the mini map there. I'm gonna throw out some smokes, get some get them looking that way, and maybe do a little rotation. 
Yes, just breathe. I don't think he has his shield this time, which is fine. Some teams don't do the um, shield on big maps, so. That's scope, huh? So I've got to say, ooh, accidentally picks up his knife. It's so stressful. Knife. <laughs> knife. That's what he said. Um, so stressful being the last guy up, uh, especially in quarantine because of the rotations. My goodness. So um, a lot of a lot of stress here. Also crazy when they did the update a few seasons ago, they really opened up the map and you know putting in extra things inside the map, um, opening it up a little bit wider, just more ground to cover. Oof. Besser has three minutes here. I haven't really been able to look at the clock too much, but you should. It goes by so fast, those six minutes sometimes. Um, and you are sometimes in danger of uh, running out of time of time, so. If Fester just moving along, checking his spots. Let's check in with these guys. Here. Okay, I'm back in skeleton now. Have that outfit. You know what? Let's go with Fester. Our lone guy here. I'm gonna pick up some utility here and see what he can pick up. Okay, it's, it's, it's not unlimited ammo or supplies, it's what you have on your body. So if you pass a, um, a body or a person, you might want to swap out your weapons. If you've already used all your ammo, you might want to check if they have any smokes on them. You know, anything like that. Grab their dog tags, that kind of stuff. Ooh, Fester, grabbing a good angle. Checking to see some normal spots. You can get out here on the dunes to um, snipe, which I dislike, but... You can. Let's see. You'll be here. Ding. It's like there are, of course, there's common spots, right? That you're gonna want to check, but there are so many common spots here. This map is so big. Not just not not so big. It's that there's so many little nooks here. The Fester doesn't have a lot of time to play with here, but he is going to do the wide rotation, which, you know, that's probably good. He can probably get some, a better view here to make sure no one's, like, up behind him. But he is going to have to deal with Matt here in the wire here on the, uh, on the south. But making this long rotation allows him to gain some ground without being seen, though he will be heard pretty soon here. Let's see. Oh, Matt H doesn't hear him yet. But there he goes. It's a map. Sees him, but Fester's not going to clear out that building. Is he? Matt? Skeleton, he's in me. He's on me, JJ. He's on me. Matt does finish off Fester. <laughs> Doesn't this uh, just happen so often though? Um, going down on your map sometimes? I mean, uh, Sinister Pride picked quarantine, right? And that, that always happens. People will say like, oh, and it was their map pick. It's not like there's a lot of maps to pick, you know? It's like you have to pick one. So either way, it's, sometimes it's like that mental game isn't really there anymore because these maps get played so many times. Um, there are definitely some teams that are very scary on certain maps. Like I do not want to go against them on certain maps, but also sometimes like you, that's the map you have to play, or, you know, that's gonna be your best chance because maybe your best map is the, your opponent's better map, who knows. But, uh, Valor here, 
up three, looking to take the series. Well, Sinister Pride can get on the board here, and they're going into Volk, so they definitely have the opportunity to bring it back. Thanks again, guys, for coming out to the cast. Um, I know you're used to many other casters, but we are all getting ready for a big tournament tomorrow. So there are only so many of us who can uh, cast the game. So I thank you for joining us. And we are Master League. All right, into the next round we go, round four. JJ. Right. Am I with you that? Hey, wait. They're Don't gonna lag. get the north south. spawn, the north side. Oh, wait, north side. Trading drones. Okay. You memorize that. JJ's actually really good at memorizing it. <laughs> He'll tell me afterwards. It wasn't as easy. All right, looks like Ninx and O4 are gonna make it to the roof here to get some control, um, get onto higher ground, check out uh, the positioning. Yeah, come on, Hondo, get it. Yeah, Hondo. Let's go, boys! Ooh, every time we went to Hondo, he's very excited and enthused, so. <laughs> it's Saturday, Rowan, grab your drinks. Got Fester and Kanan on the wire here on the south side. Interesting. So they are going to see. Who is it? Matt. Right, I'm right, right. Nice. Alright, now I'm gonna go south and just lurk back. Lurk back. Get, like, sit right behind here if you can. <laughs> Not picking up anyone, but. Right, there's a shield for some reason. Oh, he's. <laughs> Had a fence. <laughs> there's still one probably wire building. I think they only said one down south. He said there's a shield for some reason. <laughs> Just sit, sit low, sit low. Calling you out, that's the reason. Alright. JJ giving some direction here for Matt um, as he has the shield. Oh, and he gets called. I mean, he was already called out, so. O4 does down Kanan. Um, Matt is going for those shots now. Shots ringing out from Flying Potatoes. Oh, uh, he does pick up 04, but who's Down this? Left? Panko is going to pick up Flying Potatoes in the motel. Panko's already flanked around. He's making his way all the way to the east side. And uh, Nullis is going to have to deal with that. Fester does revive Kanan. Um, Panko has been spotted out, so his position is known. Shots ringing out. Nynx picks up Fester. Matt gets Kanan at the same time. Panko finishes Fester. Kane here. And we've got Nullis and Hondo on the OBJ. Just the two. Just the two of us. Panko expressing the building. We've got JJ running around. Let's go. His There's game. one far east. Leave him alive and let's cap. This far east, he's, he's calling out Panko. <laughs> Panko gets Nullis on OBJ. Hondo is going to need to make that rotation. You just leave him, leave him, leave him alive. Um, so distract him, leave him alive. He's calling to leave him alive. JJ's gonna try and go in for that cap here because Hondo is alone. Oh, JJ is spotted out. Hondo gets Matt. Oh, he doesn't see JJ. He saw Matt. Oh, no, the smoke. Oh, and Nix does pick up Hondo. He did. He did say leave him alive, guys. All right. Valor takes that map and the series. Wow. What? What a game from Valor there. Actually, now that I recall, they did play a really strong game on Quarantine. I did cast them once before, I believe. So, they are a good team. Uh, Panka has been playing for quite some time. So, congrats to Valor for taking that series. No easy feat, believe it or not. Let's see where we're going in next.
Tanker? Yay! I would love Tanker. Yes, please. So easy to move yeah, around. Yeah, we picked the map so you guys can tanker. pick what side. I want to be both Volk and Marsock at once. All right, here we go into Tanker. Looks like we're gonna have the OBJ in the captain's quarters here. If I can get inside. How's that? Just inching in there. Hello, hello there. OBJ. So as you see, this is a night map. Uh, for all of you new folks here, this map is dark. I have a little light on. Actually, I don't even know how I turn on that light on and off, I forget. But um, but yeah, I do have, uh, you see a little bit of light, but for the players, it is quite dark. So they are going to have to bring night vision. So as you see on the maps, there are day variants that are more common, and then there's some, some maps have night variants. For Tinker, there is no day variant. Tinker is, you know, just, the, a night map and it also has levels so it gets a little bit tricky um and interesting for flanks as well but never mind that let's go into our first round on tinker all right are we gonna play are we gonna play to win this map or what yeah, Possibly. I think uh, we are, should. Are we gonna play or what, what's going on? I'm sorry, stream. They kept watching people. Matt, you go straight. I'll go around right. So, this right here is a little bit why sometimes I don't like the night maps because it's just green. Nothing against green. It's just you know. And I, I'm afraid of the dark too. So there's that. Okay, looks like O4 is a. Uh, doesn't have his night vision. He forgot it. He's not gonna be able to see much, but he can hear. Blind potatoes catches Link. Just downing him though. Kena's gonna throw out a frag of his own. Not gonna catch anyone though. Smoke going out somewhere. Oh, he's gonna go around for Nink's. Oh, JJ accidentally killing O4. Whoops. Uh, okay, the smoke is to cover, so you can get it. Uh, Panko does pick up Fester, JJ does her back. Nick, and then Nola's coming down, picks up Matt H and Panko. Flying Potatoes picking up Nynx. Leaving JJ on his own, and he has been called out through the windows here. The windows are not bulletproof. I mean, I'm sorry, they are bulletproof, so he can just stand there and taunt. Oh, Flying Potatoes does pick up JJ, and they take that round. Mr. Five going up a point. Okay. Wrong map. I did it. The wrong one. Um, although Tinker wasn't played very often, I know a lot of team new teams are like, well, we should play Tinker because other teams don't play it. But Tinker has come out a lot this season and last season. That strategy doesn't really work anymore. So this is a well-played map. Actually, we cast it earlier today and uh, they played Tinker. This is the last game for this night, for the Saturday, but we do have games coming up tomorrow. I think we're casting Game Fist versus Supernatural. 
We is a me and Mantis. Actually, I've not casted with Mantis. He's a new caster as well this season. So that should be exciting. Other than that, let's just play it. Just play onward. All right, going into round two. I think Sinister Pride wants this map so bad. What's going on them here? Should we reset? Yeah, you, you did, you did, you did. Who no, wants a drum bag? Come on. Give it away by drum bag. 96, 51, 59. 96, 51. Kanan, you want a drum? Kanan is trying to remember the code. Do not distract him. Oh, yeah, uh, no. Oh. I'm following somebody with night vision. <laughs> <laughs> You're in charge of me now. Oh, I hate yeah, forgetting my vision too. Panko uh, going on to the aggressive position. Uh, we do have, yeah, Panko on the bottom, Ninx Dragon up top in the container waiting. And then we have someone over here. Ooh, Hondo picks up Panko on the bottom. Uh, we got Matt getting flying potatoes in his prone position. Uh, JJ picking up Nullist. Does confirm the one. Hondo is coming up the backside here. It's gonna go. I don't think anyone's gonna really challenge him here. Oh, wait, no. Someone's coming up. Gunfire. Oh, Hondo does get 04 and he's capping. Matt H really needs to crash in here. Oh, no, he hears him. Oh, JJ's crashing in too. They could be. You good cap. Oh no! So close. Kanan. Gonna go. And goes for the kill and so the surprise. Go. Yeah, Our there boys. you go. Hey, you wanna rest? Yeah, no, you're just gonna leave him there. Fuck you. Oh! Me? No you! <laughs> Sinister Pride did try to go for that cap. That would have been great um, for them. However, they did get that point in, though. So good on them for getting on the board. And we go into our next OBJ, which is going to be the... See if it's the center or... With that. Yeah, it's going to be downstairs. I'm not really good at driving. <laughs> Sneak around here and look at that beautiful uplink that we want to protect and capture. Teams waste no time. We're going into round three. Oh. Sorry, I keep. I'm not picking on you, Honda. It's just you're just like right in the center here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to get your butt there. <laughs> Alright, let's see how they are going to protect us. Oh, Matt, getting flying potatoes and flying potatoes getting him back on a trade. Ninx Dragon picking up Kanan on that probably long flank there. Panko picks up Hondo with no night vision. Wow. Right along with Panko. No night vision, buddy. Fight, fight, go, fight, go. And Dragon laying down some fire here on. Or he's not gonna see anyone. Actually, everyone's on the other side. So, oops, there goes the light. Oh, he does get caught out right there. Panko does get Fester. Got Nellis on the inside. And who's uh, making noise? Is someone upstairs? Perhaps? This 
Nellis and Hondo. Frag's going out, not finding anyone. Oh, Nellis picks up Panko on the inside. Oh no! Ninx picks up Nullis. I didn't even see Hondo go down. Another nade. Valor takes a point. Again, if you're interested, we are going to have a custom maps tournament coming up. If you haven't played them, you really should. I actually wasn't sure how I feel about custom maps. I thought it would be like overtaking everything, but it, it doesn't. It's really a great compliment. It does break up the monotony of, um, you know, playing the same maps over and over again. So it's fun to break up. And some of those maps, man, they're, they are really, really good. So I'm excited to uh, play in that tournament and or cast it, whichever comes first or hear about it. I don't know. But uh, shout out to Fallen Snow, what a great map. Uh, Oasis as well, so many good ones out there. So you can sign up for that on the Onward Discord. Nobaru says, go Valor uh, from Pavlov. Yes, he is buddies with uh, JJ. Good group of guys, Blacklist, those guys. Alright, we're heading into our next one, down to the last minute. On four. We need to jump. <laughs> Three, gone. Gone. Oh, we also have a drum. Drum, drum, drum. More drums. I was, uh... Let's... I to through this way, okay? Panko telling his team where to go, giving, giving captain's orders. Yep, they are smoking already. Flying Potato is already down on the inside tunnel here. Honda going for that long flank. He is going to meet who is this down there. They're going to catch each other out. Flying Potato does get met. Great shot. And then he's going to come around while he's reloading or looking at his tablet. Picks up Flying Potatoes. Panko picks up Fester Chain. Kanan picks up Panko on the refrag. Only downing uh, Panko, though. No, JJ accidentally team kills him. Whoops. Sinister probably with two Valor up three. Quick peek from Ninx. Ooh, just missing each other or seeing each other? I'm not sure, but Hondo is right here. JJ's gonna come around here, though, and catch. Him. And now we've got Nullist. You can definitely hear JJ's call outs. enough. Gonna have to make that rotation here. No one's on the upstairs though. <sighs> Being alone in the dark too. <laughs> here we go, Nullist. Coming down. So you can hear them, it's just like, it's really hard with the audio. Are they downstairs? Are they upstairs? He's gonna have to deal with Ninx on this side here. And JJ on that side, they know his rotation, I guess. Yep, he, they spot him out. He's gonna make that rotation, good call. Ooh, 
and it's a trade, but Lois was the last one up. So Valor is going to take that point. I am just so impressed. Like, not not like, you know, as like a veteran player or anything like that. I just mean I'm just impressed by people who are just gamers in general who can just take to any game. Like, I because i don't have really a gaming background it's it's just like really cool to see some of the skills that are transferable and how good people can be just because they're good at other games it's pretty awesome the only skill i bring over is board games which i think does help a lot um in some ways believe it or not but that's about it don't know how to do anything else <laughs> Alright, that was the last one on that OBJ, so we're going to get this quick one here where they can cap very fast, so you can cause just a lot of chaos here on this objective. And go for that fast cap. We got Sinister Pride who's going to be defending. They need to, de to just hold tight on this one and not let them get too close because they can come out with a cap and then just take this map as well. Going into our next round, round five. Yeah, he's gonna. They're calling out that they're gonna be pushing hard. Let's see if that's the. Let's see. Smoke's going out. Look at this lineup here. How cute is that? Like they're gonna do the can can. All right, smoke's coming out heavy, and looks like Sinister Pride did call it correctly. They are gonna push hard. And that's exactly what they're doing. Kingman picks up 04 and Matt, leaving JJ in the center. Going to look for that refrag, and he does pick that refrag up. Uh, pink on the bottom. Fester taking up JJ. Nola's checking in and out, making sure no one's inside of the smokes. Um, got Panko already up around. And, oh, he does catch flying potatoes. Does pick up Nolas, leaving again. Uh, is this Hondo on his own to deal with Panko? And Nynx. Oh, and Valor does take that one. Going down. Um, taking them down. Going up another point. Wow. Valor is just on fire tonight. I'm, uh, I'm not trying to play favorites or anything, but, uh, you know, I work with somebody that's on Valor. Bulletproof. He's not playing tonight, but he is my production manager. So shout out to them over there. I'm friends with all of them, too, though. I love Nyx Dragon. He's great. And Sinister Pride. I have casted them a lot this season. They are just, like, some of the nicest guys in the league. Super cool and chill team. Love playing with them in lobbies and in matches. So... I just really like their attitude. The both teams, good times. All right, we're going to get into what may be the deciding round here. Round six. How is Sinister Pride going I to answer? Yeah, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what they're gonna do. Oh, yeah, right here. I'll watch the flank. 401, 8637. 401, 8637. Wow, pretty fast coming out. Nate's already picking up flying potatoes with that woo, crazy pre fire. What a great lane that was. Panko is going to go for that flank on the bottom here. Going to catch them out. Going to come up and around. Nolas is going to be right there. And he does catch Panko on that flank. It's unsuccessful. Got JJ in the center here waiting for any approach. Unsure which side. Oh, what? There's a spill here. I did not know about that. All right. So JJ is going to pull back onto OBJ. They do have... They, I think they have a... Yeah, that's pretty good. We've got Matt here all the way in the back for overall overlook. Let's 
So with this objective, it is a fast cap one, um, but if you don't, if you don't aggressively attack it, then I think it just becomes like any other objective because at this point, you know, there's a chance that they have flanked you, if they've gone quietly, if there were smokes for them to quietly go underneath and flank you. Because you can get to the OBJ before uh, the um, defense gets to these doors here. But if you don't push it, then uh, you're definitely going to have to watch your back um, as well as these doors as you approach the objective. It's easy to cap in the sense that there are some hidden places as if you put smoke, it can be quite nerve wracking as you're running in and out and weaving in and out of there. But looks like Sinister Pride, they're going to take it slow here and kind of regroup and think. I think Honda's on the bottom. Uh, Nola's still on the top, holding his position, waiting for any more flankers, looks like. Doesn't look like Valor's going to be doing that. Random C4. I have not seen a good C4 kill at all. I'm going to go ahead and ask for that. Oh, wow, what a great name. Oh, right onto objective. That was perfect, but not going to catch anyone. What a throw. They may be just, like, um, letting Valor get um, antsy. Uh, although they did take Panko out, and Panko does seem to be the aggressor. Um, going for those aggressive flanks. The Hondo looks like he's finally pushing in a little bit faster. Ninx is quietly waiting here. Um, that he can definitely hear Nullist, so you see him moving. Waiting for that. This this corner is always so tricky because they can just wait right about there. Ninx does pick up Nullist down the center and makes his way down. O4 does get Hondo on that flank, shutting that down. Keenan and Fester. Ninx is, uh, I think Ninx and Kanan see each other. Oh, Ninx does pick up Kanan. Even Fester. Fester takes down Ninx. Frag going out. Not gonna grab him. Great, great yell. JJ's gonna come around and ooh, grabs him. And grabs Valor. A round win. Map win and series win inside of Valor. And there you have it. Valor taking all three maps, 4-4-4 four, four, four for 12, and Sinister Pride going four as well. They looked good on Tanker, um, just... Oh, and I think they opened even with a, with a cap. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get it back um, after maybe losing some momentum. They were down, you know, a different... They had a new reservist on with them, so that can sometimes throw you off. However, Sinister Pride, like, they always have fun, and I love that about them. They're always, like, in a good mood and super funny to, to have around as well. So, and they're, like, the oldest team in the league. So, I just love their consistency of just, like, being cool people. Valor got new pickups, a new look. A Ninx Dragon, great reservist for them, doing a lot of work. So, great series overall. Congrats to Valor for winning that one. And thank you for all the viewers for hanging out with me on the Saturday night. I hope everyone is as well and safe as you can possibly be during this time. I know a lot's going on, so thank you for spending your time with us here, and uh, hopefully we're all doing well. Tomorrow we will be casting, I think, one game in the afternoon in the uh, NA time. It will be an EU match. And then at 5 p.m. Eastern, VRML has partnered with V Respawn and Virtual Athletics League, Val, to put on a tournament for Pistol Whip. So that will be going on, and you will be hearing from Sleepy, from Nightfire, and from Poonanners, and myself. We will be hosting this virtual tournament. It was supposed to be a LAN event, but unfortunately, with everything going on, we did have to cancel it. But hey, this is VR, right? So we are all going virtual. You can hang out with us in Alt Space, where we will be hosting the virtual party and tournament. So you can meet with the, the people from Cloudhead, from Val, from um, our sponsors, Oculus, I Buy Power, Live, um, Splitverse, Springboard, lots of people in on this VR exclusive tournament. The first of many, I think, and we're gonna be doing it in the mixed reality tournament. It's gonna be great. Um, so stop in, you can win prizes, lots of game giveaways and key giveaways. So looking forward to that event, and you can absolutely join us for that one. Um, again, hope it's the first of many. We're really trying to make VR esports just 
like as great as it is, giving it much more exposure. If you're interested in the league and learning more, you can go to VR Master League. Again, we have Onward, there's Pavlov, Space Junkies, Final Assault, Echo. Uh, so a variety of other games as well. If you're just interested in general in it, you can join our Discord to ask questions and get along with our lovely community, of course. Uh, and of course, um, shout out to ProTube, our sponsors, and to VR Cover, our other sponsors. Thank you very much for your support in the league. Again, this is a grassroots community league. Um, everyone that we all volunteer our time, we have volunteer our time to play and practice. So lots of hard work all around from everybody. Uh, so fantastic league. Come check us out and join us. Again, you can join us for the customs tournament just to check it out and see how that goes. But that will be it from me at the casting desk. I'm Control Flirt Delete. I will see you inside the lobby. Have a good night, everyone.